हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वील सी द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज अ केमिकल चेंज एंड द केमिकल बॉन्ड अंडर दिस लेसन इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू हाउ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आयोनिक बॉन्ड इज टेक्स प्लेस ओके एंड द वन कॉमन थिंग वन द थिंग इज दैट इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द आयोनिक बॉन्ड दैट इज वन ऑफ द इलेवन मोस्टली द मेटल्स डोनेट द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड द नॉन मेटल्स दैट इज द they are receiving the electrons and they complete their octave and the what the for, bo, bond takes place and that bond is called as a ionic bond now the next it is the we'll see and i shown you this also how the sodium chloride is formed by donating and receiving the electrons and this is the sodium chloride it forms by donate sodium donates one electron and the electron donated by sodium is uh, take a uh, that who is receiving chlorine and the sodium chloride it forms and same way i told you how the magnesium chloride bond is formed and i gave you the homework uh, means this also i have shown you how the bond in the sodium potassium chloride and the calcium oxide is formed so today we will see how the covalent bonds are formed so here it is second type of bond is a covalent bond generally a covalent bond is formed when atom of two elements what they told you when atoms of two elements having similar properties combine two elements properties are same and they are combined such atoms cannot exchange electron you just now we see here sodium chloride or magnesium chloride here they exchange their electrons with the other but in covalent bond the exchange of electron is not takes place instead of it what happens the atom share the electron they are sharing the electrons they are sharing their electrons for example that we will see here h2 is given example otherwise h2o water molecules example is there so hydrogen what happens it has only one electron is in its outermost shell this is the suppose this is the uh, nucleus of the hydrogen and here one more hydrogen is there it also has the one only electron so to complete his of duplet hydrogen what it does it shares the electron means they share their electrons here it's one and here it's one now if you see this is one hydrogen and this is another hydrogen and this is the h2 if you see here the both the electrons are present orbits of both the hydrogens and then this type of bonds are called as a which that is a covalent bonding so ionic bond the exchange of electron takes place and in covalent bond the electron uh, what happens they are sharing with each other next the shared electron becomes common property of both what they told you the shared electrons become a common property of both just now i showed you the example of hydrogen that is h2 molecules okay so here it is one electron and here it is one electron so they are sharing their electrons and there the, these electrons are common in between the these both the hydrogen of the atom thereby the electron octet or duplet here the electrons octet or duplet of both the atom becomes complete if you see here to complete the duplet by this hydrogen what happens it needs two electrons in outermost orbit so he cannot donate the electron and another hydrogen is also same situation is there it cannot donate the electron so what is the way they find on it that is the they are sharing the electrons with each other so this is one hydrogen uh, electron and this is and they share this electrons with each other and that is the this type of bonding is called as a covalent bond same condition is takes place with the oxygen also what happens they are sharing the electrons with each other and o2 is formed now we have seen in the chapter inside the atom that a hydrogen atom contains only one electron yes so its duplet means it is first orbit must be must contains two electrons then only it will be stable each short one or uh, each short 
of one electron. Mean it needs one more electron to complete his, his duplet. Hmm? It has only one electron. So what it is doing? Therefore, the valency of hydrogen is one. The two atoms of hydrogen are identical. If you see here, here it is the hydrogen. And they are identical. They are same because they are both are hydrogens only. So what happens? They are identical. So they share these electrons with each other. If you see this picture, you will notice that the both the electrons, both the electrons are present in the outermost means duplet. Now duplet of this hydrogen is also complete, and this hydrogen's duplet is also it get completed. Okay, and they becomes stable. Now, we have seen in the chapter inside the atom that hydrogen atom contains one electron. Its duplet is short of one electron, and therefore the valency of hydrogen is one. The two atoms of hydrogen are identical. Okay, these are the two atoms of hydrogen, and they are identical and have similar tendency. They both are trying to be stable by completing their duplet. So they have that is a tendency, and therefore they share their electrons with each other. As a result, the electron duplet of both the hydrogen atoms is complete, and the chemical bond formed between them. So here it is, the chemical bond is formed between the hydrogen. Okay, so this is the chemical bond. So H. And yet, the chemical bond is formed between between them. So hydrogen combines with hydrogen. The two bonds are there in between them. Okay. So in this way, we have to means they are completing their duplet and they are becoming stable. <coughs> Now, the figure eleven thirty point five. So here it is a thirty point five figure shows the formation of H two molecule from hydrogen atom. So just now I told you this is hydrogen. That is one more hydrogen. It has one electron in outermost shell. This hydrogen also has one electron in the outermost shell. So when the hydrogen bond is hydrogen H2 atom forms, what happens? They combine or they share the electrons with each other. Using diagrammatic representation of electronic configuration. So here it is a diagrammatic representation of hydrogen. A covalent bond between Two atom is also represented by dash joining their symbols. Okay, so in this way also we are showing dash also we can use and we can show the dots also. Now let us learn how the H two O molecule is formed. So here it is the formation of H two O molecule of covalent compound is formed by the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. As you know that there are six electrons valence electrons are there in the oxygen atom as you know that oxygen's atomic number is 8 so in first orbit two electrons will enter and second orbit inside six electron will enter so here it is the oxygen the yellow color it is there so for in first orbit two electrons are there and in the second orbit how many six electrons are there now what happens when this hydrogen is there it combines with hydrogen if you see here hydrogen it is here and here it is hydrogen and the color of electron of hydrogen is different sh shown by the different color because two because to understand the structure of, uh, to understand the electronics of which element okay then what happens to complete the octet of the oxygen it needs two electrons yes here it is given it means that the electron octet the oxygen is in short by the two short of two electrons and the valence of oxygen is equal to how much two here i wrote in h2 molecule the oxygen atom completes its octet by forming two covalent bonds what happens the oxygen atom completes its octet by forming two covalent bonds with the hydrogen okay so one of which each two hydrogen atoms Why this happens? The duplet of the two hydrogen atom has completed. Now, if you see here, this is a hydrogen. As you know, that atomic number is one. So, one pro one electron is revolving around the external orbit. Same condition. Oxygen atomic number is eight. So, 
first orbit gets two electron and second orbit six. So here two and here it is six. Now what happens? To complete the electrons, if they share their electrons, means they share electrons with each other. Here I, it is impossible to show. Here just see. Now this is the electron of whom that is the hydrogen. This is the electron of hydrogen and this is the electron of oxygen and that is the electron of oxygen and these two electrons are shared by this hydrogen so it's duplet completed and these two electrons shared by this hydrogen so he is also duplet is completed now oxygen if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 means oxygens also octave is completed now hydrogen and oxygen both are stable okay so this is the means in this way the bonds are formed by sharing the electrons bonds are formed by sharing the electrons okay so if you see here these two electrons shared by this hydrogen and these two electrons shared by this hydrogen and oxygen both and octave of oxygen and a duplet of hydrogen both is complete and such a type of bond is there called as a covalent bonding and in covalent this so water molecule is a covalent compound now here it is given there is one covalent bond between the component atoms of hydrogen and the chlorine the molecule of hcl use this information to represent the formation of hcl molecule of hydrogen and the chlorine atom diagrammatically that will be seen now as you know that the atomic number of hydrogen what is its atomic number the hydrogen's atomic number is 1 and that of chlorine the atomic number of chlorine is 70 so the chlorine's electronic configuration is 2 8 7 okay so to complete his octave in the outermost orbit chlorine needs one electron okay so this is the diagrammatic representation of the hydrogen's atom this is the one electron in the these are protons and neutrons are present here uh, these neutrons are upset in this so proton is present one proton is there in it this is hydrogen okay now i will draw the sketch of chlorine so chlorine in first orbit how many electrons are there this is the first orbit this is a nucleus so protons how many are there 17 neutrons how many are there 17 okay so So first orbit two electrons, second orbit how many electrons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And in third orbit how many electrons are there? 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the 7. So to complete the octave, chlorine needs one electron and the hydrogen also need one electron to complete his duplet. So what happens actually? Here this both and this is our hydrogen yes it has proton one proton i told you here present in the nucleus so this is the nuclear uh, electron of who that is the hydrogen and this is another electron of the who one two three four five six and seven so this is our chlorine chlorine and here it is two electrons so this is the electronic configuration if you see here you will notice that here it is the what that is the oxygen and hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is oxygen uh, sorry this is chlorine they share what one electrons from the outermost orbit and due to this what happens sharing of electron what happens the hydrochloric acid atom is formed HCl it forms and this in this way the hydrogen chloride is formed this is a diagrammatic representation of the hydrogen chloride so this is very important I told you before only you have to study how to draw this diagrammatic representation okay some of the important points are there we have to check whether the duplet it will complete or octave it will complete then we have to write down this so in exam such a type of questions are also coming 
draw this uh, diagrammatic sketch of the hydrogen formation of hydrogen chloride so such a types of preparation also question, uh, such a questions preparation also all of you do now only so today we are going to stop here only all of you complete the exercise of lesson number 13